which is uh, which is uh, zero. Yeah, meaning uh, meaning that this this thing here is is going to zero also. Yeah, because this is bounded between zero and zero. Yeah. Okay. So so this is one thing, but but sometimes you you need more more elaborate um, elaborate bounds. Probably the most m the most famous of them is uh, Stirling's formula. And it's a something like n factorial is roughly very close to to n over e to n times two pi square root of n. Yeah. So so square root of of this this thing. And so, so Stirling's Stirling's formula is a very, very good approximation for the factors, but 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 you don't really really need it very need it very often, okay? So okay, let me let me conclude with one last thing. And so last time we were f speaking about planar graphs, and we got some results about them. Yeah, so, f for example, what we know th is that number of edges of a planar graph is at most three times number of vertices minus six. Yeah, so we are just going to work with some approximations. So let me let me keep an here roughly. So we have graphs which have only linear number of possible edges, and the question we are going to work now is how many planar graphs exist. So we would like to to compare that we have all all graphs on n vertices here, and some of these graphs are planar, and we would like to compare how big is this this quantity of planar graphs compared to to all all graphs yeah all all graphs are here yeah so so what what we can we can denote is hmm, some some number which will which will denote all graphs so it will denote it a a n is number of of all graphs and p n which denotes number of planar graphs and so the like in our case we are not we are not going to distinguish the graphs which are which are the same are just uh, like labeled differently so so for us uh, two graphs which which look like like this uh, sorry this will be the same um, Like this are something different. Yeah, so we are just considering uh, these these graphs are called isomorphic, but we don't care that they they look the same. We are just considering labeled graphs, meaning that you have n vertices, and for each pair of vertices, which some label u and v, they're either adjacent or not. So so each pair is adjacent. Or or not, and number of pairs is n choose two. So for each pair, we can we can toss a coin, or we can we can choose whether there will be edge or not. So for each pair, we have two possibilities. So we have two to n choose two different graphs, which is roughly two to n squared. And we are going to to use just this bound, and this will be enough for us. Yeah. So so this this is some kind of of good bound for for this value a n here. Now with the p n it's slightly more difficult because we don't really uh, really know how to how to catch the structure of planar graphs uh, easily. And I'm I'm not actually much familiar with um, what, what is known about. Exact number of, of planar graphs. Probably there will be just just some good bounds. So we will restrict ourselves to larger graphs of graphs. We will even allow here to count some graphs which are not planar, uh, because 
what one would expect is that paleographs are almost no. There are almost no paleographs. That the number of paleographs is extremely small. And if this is true, then we can make the set larger, add more graphs to it, and it will still remain very small. And then, then we we know that that even paleographs are, are, are not not many of them. Okay. So so what what we can do here is to not calculate paleographs, but number of, of graphs with linear number of edges. So number of graphs with ha linearly approximately linear edges. So so like let's say let's say with um, to be exact here with at most three and minus six edges. Yeah? Okay, so, so we can we can do it in a similar way, but in in this case we are just going to choose m pairs from from this set. Yeah? So what we are basically doing, we first choose number of edges. So m is an in interval zero to some number three, three and minus six. Yeah? So rough roughly n. So we choose m, and then we choose these edges. So if we choose some some fixed m, then we take all possible pairs and pick m of them. And they will be the edges of the graph. And we sum this quantity for m from 0 to, to 3 and minus 6. Yeah? So what we can do here is to bound this from the top by, by the largest thing because the, the combinatorial numbers are, are increasing to, to the middle mid, uh, to, the, to the term uh, which is which is roughly half half of this thing so so we can we can just bound this thing by 3 and minus 6 times the largest term here which is n choose to 3 and minus 6 yeah so now we just write what what is this so so this is roughly n squared so it is n squared choose 3 and minus 6 which is roughly roughly something like like n n squared times n minus 1 squared times so on uh, n squared minus 1 sorry no, like this so um, minus n squared minus 3n plus 6 uh, something like that choose 3n minus 6 factorial and we should not forget this this number here so we can reduce this and get it 3n minus 7 factorial here but still this is this is some kind of, of small number compared to to the quantity quantity here which is which is uh, Product of, of some quadratic quadratic terms, yeah. So so what we what we have here is is something of of the term n to n to n n to 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 n or something something like this, yeah. Because like uh, each of these this this thing is is at most. At most n squared, and we have we have a linear number, linear number of, of these these these, um, these parentheses here. Yeah, so if we take product of all of them, if the, if we bound it, we obtain something like n to to n. Yeah, so so this is this is our bound for p n. And now what we are going to do is to calculate limit of p n over a n which is nothing else than n to n over 2 to n squared. So it's actually kind of hard to, to compare these two things. They, they actually look, look very funny. So what, what we are going to do is to put n here to the top and replace it by, by 2, 2 also. So we have, we have some same base here. So what, what we just need is, is this very, this is 2 to 2 n log n and this is this is some kind of, of formula between between exponentials that we can go from one exponential to another if we, we use logarithm inside over to to n squared yeah so we have two exponentials with different different function inside so we just need to compare functions inside 
So this limit is the limit of or this is th okay this is not uh, this is not exact but like we need to com we need to calculate the the function inside yeah? we, we need to we need to basically we, we just go to 2n log n minus n squared to this thing and so to calculate this who limit we need to know how this guy here works yeah so we calculate the limit of, of the inner function which in this case is some kind of, of polynomial with one term with logarithm but logarithms are really small so this is going to minus infinity yeah so we have 2 to minus infinity which is 0 yeah? so we are exactly in in the case that this limit is 0 meaning that a n is much larger than pn so our result is that it doesn't look how, how it was depicted like this actually when n is large enough then here are all graphs and somewhere here you have small small dot and always getting smaller and smaller which are planar graphs yeah? so almost no graph is planar if the graph is large enough and actually if you think about it it's not very surprising and this is some kind of of natural application of analysis to to some kind of problem which which can occur even in fields very different from calculus and analysis yeah so so this this is it for for today's lecture and maybe we can we can continue with with calculus and some, some next lecture and I will I will try to to explain some some more things uh, maybe we will actually actually calculate a little less because it's it's kind of kind of not, not so interesting I will I, I just wanted to to show you show you some some kind of basic and um, basics and maybe maybe to explain some some kind of kind of relations you you maybe never never noticed before so so thank you for watching and I will see I will see what, what we are going to, to talk about next time. Yeah? So so thanks, thanks a lot and and bye bye.